What's up, guys? Ice man here. Welcome to Diablo Resurrected. So in this video, I wanted to showcase this charm. It goes by the name of Flame Rift. The new addition for Season 2 in D2R. These grand charms that can be found in Terror Zones. Uh, I think only Uniques and Champions in Terror Zones can drop them. Now, I don't know how rare they're going to be, but I guess we're about to find out. But nonetheless, this thing pierces my fire res by 75. And it breaks any enemy fire immunity, rendering it to 95. So this is the character that Blizzard, or <coughs> Vicarious Visions, supplied us with for this PTR. Let's see the gear. Now, I think this is poor choice in gear. I mean, we all know Astutus sucks. And uh, it's just too bad that uh, there's no piercing of fires. Are you kidding me? Like the last video I made, it was with the lightning sorceress, and she <coughs> or he had on Talset, which gave 15 light pierce and 15 cold and 15 fire. So that would have been better in this situation because the Sunder renders their fire res to 95, and that's really damn high. So you want to pierce it some, you know, after they're at 95 because they're still pretty damn thick when it comes to resisting whatever the hell they're resistant to when they have a 95 resist to it. Uh, and in this case, fire in regards to the fire immune. So let's see how well this goes. However, this does have a 20% fire skill damage. I mean, I think this is a bad choice. But nonetheless, Mage... I mean, they probably don't fit... They probably never played the game, so we gotta cut them some slack. Mage Fist, that's a good choice. Uh, that's a bad choice. That's a good choice. That's a good choice. That's a bad choice in my opinion, but I know according to most, that's a good choice. That's a good... That's a bad choice. You need to have Phoenix. Uh, maybe they weren't going for endgame builds, but maybe they were, because here we have now an Ormus with three to Fireball. And a fl flickering flame, and hell yes, I do have some Fire Pierce. Alright, so I have negative 15 to enemy fire resistance. Uh, and the lower, uh, or the fire res aura is going to be great. That's actually going to help me uh, a lot here. So my fire res is actually in the positives. Rising Sun Amulet. Uh, whatever. Maybe they're just having a good time with this stuff. I don't know, with the gear choices. But let's see how well uh, the sorceress can handle the Chaos Sanctuary is what I'm wondering. Because the thing about these charms, they're doing things that Infinity and Lower Res couldn't do. Uh, Infinity broke barely any fire means of the game. It did break some, but there were many that it didn't break. Uh, some of which are in the Chaos Sanctuary, the monsters. And, uh, so this is going to really open up the opportunity to obviously clear the game with a fire character or with a poison character or with a magic character, which we generally could do anyway, but yeah, there's, believe it or not, there's even a magic grand charm that kills all the magic immune, so uh, if you're a hammer den, you're just going to obliterate. Uh, the same thing with the cold sorceress, because the cold sorceress has pierce embedded in their cold mastery, unlike fire and lightning mastery, where it just adds more damage. So I think this might be a problem. Uh, the Blizzard Sork is going to obliterate everything if they don't change this. Because it's going to reduce all the cold immunes to a cold resist of 95. And then it's going to pierce the shit out of that 95. Uh, at 130 plus pierce the cold master. It's going to be crazy. So I wonder if they're going to nerf that. Uh, let me know if you guys think that should be nerfed. Or screw it. Should we just uh, allow the Blizzard Sorks to just obliterate everything once again. Only even more so this time. But here, this isn't a place where I think you would generally find fire immunes, but that's fine. I just wanted to see how well this fire character does. Pretty well so far. Some meteor, some hydras. Yep, 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 yep. I think I fixed my green screen. Hey, yeah! I think I fixed that pole. Uh, I finally uh, brought my light back in here. I just didn't like having more lights in here, but that's fine. Got some lights in here now. So, let's go to the Chaos Sanctuary. In fact, I'm just going to teleport right there in the video. No breaks here. But, what other characters do you guys think I should try out? So these guys are always... Yeah, all these are usually... Uh, I don't think there's any fire means to run into on the way to the Chaos. But in the Chaos, you have, like, the Venom Lords. I'm gonna kill... I'm gonna waste this shit. Uh, the Doom Knights are Fireman. Oh my god! What happens when you take it off? What happens when you put on the damn stat? 
Yep, the, so the fire immune's back, obviously. Merc is killing him. Yeah, and the, and the Venom Lords are fire immune as well, obviously. So, all right, let's get that charm back in the inventory. And so what it does is when you have it on, uh, the fire immune's from your perspective. It just no longer says fire immune next to it. Yeah, yeah! It's pretty crazy, isn't it? Uh, it's pretty godly. And I don't know, I feel like there are mixed opinions on this. Is this going to make it too damn easy? Because uh, look how easy it is right now. It's not bad. I'll show you the skills I have going on. Some Hydra, some Meteor. Some more Hydras over here. Fireballs destroying. I'll show you the damage. Amazing. Uh, I Really, uh, what I want to try is the Fire Droid. Because I always like the Fire Droid. Uh, the problem is, of course, is that there are just too many damn Fire Mews in this game. Uh, and few of which Infinity Breaks, the level 12 conviction from it. Or even most lower the res, for that matter. Lower res. Yep, 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 yep! Uh, but, do you guys like these additions? Let me know in the comments. So Hydra is doing 1300 damage at level 18 with both of its two synergies maxed. Uh, Meteor is maxed out. And it's doing 26,000 damage. Pretty damn impressive. And then Fireball is maxed out, doing 14,000 damage. Alright. Uh, Hydra, of course, it's not like the uh, PD-2 Hydra. It's just shooting little Firebolts here. Uh, PD-2, it shoots Fireballs. If you get it to a certain tier or whatnot, and it's quite uh, viable. The thing is, now it's going to be opened up. We're going to be able to have fire characters run the game. The problem is, you're not going to get these charms until end game, so you're still going to have to make, uh, like, uh, a run of the mill character to uh, clear hell and then effectively farm the terror zones. So by the time, you know, we have dozens of hours invested, I mean, we might be a little worn out at that point, but it's not going to be until then we can get these charms. Is that a mistake, or is that a good thing? We're still gonna have to make the cookie cutter characters, basically. Uh, another thing with these charms is Javazans are going to destroy. Uh, lightning character is gonna do even better. Dumb toad. Alright, I'm gonna have to go back. So you can actually do this quite effectively if you just r race to the seals. But Javazans, Lightning Sorks, the thing is, if you do have an Infinity on them, you're no longer going to need the Infinity, of course, to break the Resist. So the Resist is already going to be broken. Uh, in which case, Conviction is going to be 100% effective, which it is not when it breaks an Immunity. So being a level 12 Conviction, being 100% effective, it's going to pierce the shit out of their res. Uh, so, Javazans are going to be extremely powerful. Uh, especially even considering just uh, a cherry on top of the freaking cake here. That the, uh... You're not going to run into any light immunes. Uh, that's just a cherry on top of the cake now, man. Because it's going to be destroying everything that used to be lightning immune even more so than it would before in the past with infinity Destroying things that are already lightning immune because the level 12 conviction. I think it pierces their uh, resist by like 60% or something uh, So if you get that especially if you uh, top it with the griffins or some facets You're just gonna waste everything, but the thing is you're not even gonna need the griffins or the facets at this point uh, the Griffins and the Facets used to be uh, very desirable because you break the immunity with the Conviction and then the rest of your piercing would have to come from other things like Griffins or Facets. Now that's not even going to be the case. Uh, I mean, obviously it's going to help a little bit to have Griffins and Facets, but they're not going to be nearly as essential once you get Infinity. Oh my god! A Lemrun. Hell yeah. Look, you guys see what I'm saying here? 
Uh, so basically, this 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 game needs some end game now, if they're going to uh, keep this addition, because it's this is a massive uh, it's a massive power increase, you know, it's a massive power increase. The terror zones are nothing special, uh, just enemies a little higher than you. So I mean, it's oh my god! Look how quickly this destroyed Satan. Holy shit! That was amazing! This character destroyed Satan, man! Uh, and the Terror Zones, Flare Jungle, and Flare Dungeon. Let's go to the Flare Jungle. This is only the second time I've ever tried a Terror Zone. So when you go into it, you get some sound effect, if you listen closely. Some sound effect. And usually it'll say up here, Terror Zone Reach, or something like that. But that's fine. Might have, maybe it's because I didn't have my map up. Yeah, and a lot of these guys are actually... Weren't, weren't a lot of these guys firing me in the past? Not these ones, but uh, other enemies here. So here's the terror zone. Uh, you're just gonna waste it. But yeah, it seems to me that... You're gonna need... I don't know if this is the answer, man. Because that used to be the challenge of the game, is getting through immunities and things like that. Or enemies that highly resisted things. And so once you get infinity, like I said, you're not going to need the Grimms of the Facets because nothing is even going to resist this shit that... I mean, not only are they not going to be immune, but they're not going to resist it either. Uh, where in the past you had infinity, uh, they they wouldn't be immune anymore, but they'd still resist it greatly, you know? Lots of you started capping out with Griffins, Phoenix, all that other shit. Bunch of Facets, but it's just not the case anymore. Uh, it seems like this might need some endgame, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Here's the Terror Zone. Yeah, apparently it's from the uh, Uniques and Champions and Elites where you can get the uh, the Unique Grand Trends from. And I don't know how rare they're going to be. I, I just, I don't think they're going to be that rare. I would bet they're going to be like as common as freaking Geats. Uh, maybe even co more common. See, it says that right there. Terrorized is what it says. But anyway, more videos to come on this. You guys will like the video. Become a channel member or a patron if you want to support me. And check out my ch check out my World of Warcraft channel. Uh, it's called Spiritual Journeys with the Iceman. All right, I'll link it in the description. I just made the channel. It's been a good time. Peace with you.